All right, so our next topic is continuous probability distribution. In S1, we learned about discrete random variable. That is a variable that can take individual values, each with a given probability, right? Um, this could be, for example, um, a score on a fair cubicle die, so, right? Now, a continuous random variable cannot take precise values, but, but can only be defined within a specified interval. For example, a person's height, say, is 125 centimeter, right? So this height could be anywhere in the interval 124.5 and 125.5, right? So And continuous variables are basically associated with measurements of, say, uh, time, mass, or length. Now, so how do you find probabilities in a continuous rand in a continuous prop uh, for a continuous random variable? Let's say you're given a function that x follows a continuous probability distribution and your function is something like half plus 1 upon 3 x and the range for x is between 1 and 2 and elsewhere the probability is 0 so x lies between 1 and 2 and elsewhere the probability is also 0 so this is where x lies this point is 1 and this point is 2 now let's say we have to find the probability of probability of x greater than 1.5 now the highest value that x can take is 2 so it's basically from 1.5 to 2 to find this probability all you need to do is integrate the function that is half plus 1 upon 3 x dx from the limits that will be 1.5 to 2 that is the extreme uh, value that x can take and once you integrate it, you solve it, and you will get the probability for x greater than e greater than 1.5. So this is how you calculate probabilities in uh, for a continuous random variable. Now, some things that we need to know. Let's say uh, f(x) equals to any function. Let's say it's simply x squared right and it lies from a to b right let's say this is our function so if you integrate it from a to b the total the answer needs to be one why because uh, the total probability the sum of the total probability is always one right so if you integrate the function from uh, lower limit to the upper limit from the lowest value that x can take to the highest value x can take the answer needs to be 1 so this is how you find any unknown constants uh, associated with the function now now how to find mean in a continuous uh, distribution for a continuous probability distribution so to find the mean you need to f integrate the function from the lower limit to the upper limit but you have to multiply it with x first so you multiply it with uh, multiply the function with x and then you integrate it uh, from the lower limit to the upper limit if you have to find the variance you first multiply it with x squared and then you integrate the function you first multiply the function with x squared then you integrate it from the lower limit to the upper limit and once you're done you subtract the square of mean from it and then you get your variance Now, if you have to find the median, let's say you have to find the median, 
So to find the median, you'll have to integrate the function from a, that is the lower limit, to m. m here is our median. And the answer to the, for this integral will be 0 0.5 because median is the middle point of uh, any distribution that is where the probability on either sides is 0 0.5 that's where the symmetry is so if you have to find the median uh, this is one way to do it from a to uh, you integrate the function from the lower limit that is a all the way to m m is being your median and the answer to for the integral will be um, 0 0.5 if you have to flip it uh, this could also be say you integrate the function from m that is your median to b b being your upper limit so even then your answer sh uh, should be 0 0.5 if you have to find the lower quartile so you have to integrate the function from a that is your lower limit to let's say lower quartile you can call it x as well and the answer should be equals to 0 0.25 right it makes sense right because um, the lower quartile is uh, the 25th percentile so it should be the answer should for uh, the answer to it for this integral should be 0 0.25 if you have to find the upper quartile you will integrate fx your function let's say from the lower limit to your upper quartile that is unknown and the answer to this one should be 0 0.75 you can also integrate fx of your function from um, your lower uh, your upper quartile to your higher limit that is b and make it 0 0.25 uh, or uh, and for the lower quartile you can make it um, the lower from the lo uh, integrating it from the lower quartile to your highest uh, to your upper limit that is b and your answer should be 0 0.75 either way uh, this is how you calculate your quartiles let's say if you had to find your uh, let's say if you had to find 40th percentile uh, you would have integrated <coughs> integrated the function from um, the lower limit a to let's say an un to, let's say to an unknown x and the answer should uh, should have been 0 0.4 because it's your 40th percentile if you have to find the 90th percentile uh, from a to an unknown x uh, equals to 0 0.9 so this is how you find figure out your quartiles the median the lower quartile the upper quartile yeah so this is ab all about continuous probability distribution uh, we learned how to calculate the mean the variance the median the quartiles uh, we know that the total probability, the total area under the curve is always 1 uh, and the, that um, the probabilities, since the prob probabilities are never uh, negative, we know that uh, the value of x, the, val the value of the, integ the answer of the integral will never be negative, it will never be 0. That means that our function will always lie in the first quadrant where x and y both are positive. So yeah, that's about it for this one.